YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm doing makeup on someone's face that isn't mine. For Men's Makeup May, I wanted to get a, another guy in here so that I could do makeup on someone else so that you could see what I'm doing looks like on other people because everyone looks a little bit different, obviously. Um, so I've got Jake in the chair today, and today we're doing undetectable men's makeup, and this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial really showing you how to get the most natural look out of your makeup. This look is perfect for day-to-day -day for a guy, especially someone who doesn't really want to look overly made up or really look like they're wearing anything at all. It's also really great for special occasions when you want to look just a little bit more polished. I've done this look on clients for parties, um, I've done this on a groom before for a wedding, I've done this for headshots. It's just really simple and pulled together. I'm starting out with a little bit of a sunscreen moisturizer. This is the Sublime Defense from Algenist, and this works really well before makeup because it kind of fills in pores and fine lines and works kind of like a primer and a sunscreen moisturizer all at the same time. So it's perfect for people who don't really want to spend a lot of time layering and just kind of want one product that does everything. Next I'm going to take the Menage Camo Concealer in the shade Magnum Light, and this is a great concealer because it's actually made for men and men's skin types. It's a little bit drier in consistency, so it doesn't leave um, too much of a shine on the skin. I'm taking that with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just sort of lightly working that in a thin layer around the eye area just to lift any shadows. I'm also taking this with the same brush over any larger areas of concentrated redness. Now taking a smaller eyeliner brush and the same product from the back of my hand, I'm going to grab that for individual spot coverage. So I'm just going to tap that onto spots and then use the fluffier brush just around the edge so that I get the concentration of product right where I need it and there's not just like a bunch of concealer sitting all over the face. To mattify and add a little bit of coverage to the rest of the skin, I'm going to be using the Laura Geller Double Take Powder. This is their new powder foundation, and I'm just going to use that on a big fluffy kabuki brush and work that in a light layer all over the skin. This is going to add minimal coverage, but just kind of smooth everything together and make the skin look really polished. And then to add a little bit of color back to the skin, I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This one is really great for fairer skin tones because it has more of a red undertone, it's not too brownie, um, so it's going to work great on Jake. Using the same brush, I'm just working that on the outer perimeters of the face and over the high points. For brows, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Brow Tech Trio. This is the one with the wax and the two shades of brow powder. This one is a sample size, but I've had it for <clears throat> literally forever. So I'm going to dip into the wax first with an angled brush and then dip into the blonde side. And I'm just going to fill in any gaps and just strengthen the shape. Can you turn a little bit? Thank you. And just strengthen the shape on the outer section of the eyebrow. And then just for moisture, I'm putting a little bit of Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream on the lips. You could use any lip balm, really. And there it is. That is undetectable men's makeup. The foundation that we used, again, was the Laura Geller Double Take. It's perfect for men. Powder foundation in general is really great for men because, especially with facial hair, it's not going to cling to anything and it's just going to look nice and natural on the skin. This one's especially great because it mattifies any shine from oil, but it doesn't leave the skin looking completely dry and cakey. I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial. Thank you so much to Jake for sitting in as my model, and thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if there's anything else that you are dying to see for Men's Makeup May. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say Men's Makeup May, go ahead and click the card above so that you can watch my Men's Makeup May playlist because I'm doing Men's Makeup stuff all May long. I've just said so many M's, I can't. 
Make sure you open up the description box because I've got lots and lots of information in there for you. I have a link to every product that I use today if you're interested in trying any of them out. I also have a link to the brushes that I use today if you are interested. I actually have a coupon code for them. Um, and I think that's it. Oh wait, my social media. If you want to check me out on any of my other social media other than YouTube, I'm at John John Talks on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I also have a link to my Facebook page in there as well. Click on my face now if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you want to be here for all of my other exciting content. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.